it's just such a terrible loss for all of the kids and families that I wish could have gotten to experience what an incredible educator he was. An educator, a husband, and a father. Kelly Fulton, born in Billings, was a math teacher and coach at Bozeman High School and a track athlete for the Bobcats. He was really all about we and not about me. I just, he loved his teammates. I'm sure he loved his students. You know, when, when I think of Mr. Fulton, I think two images come to mind. One is his bow ties. He loved to wear bow ties and he could pull it off. Uh, the other is, I picture him on his bike. He, he rode his bike to school, I think, just about every day and, um, and talked a lot about how much he loved that and how important it was to him. Tuesday, October 4th, just after 8 in the morning, Kelly Fulton was on his way to work riding his bike. According to the police report, a pickup truck ran a red light at 15th and Oak and hit Mr. Fulton. He was flown to Billings for surgery and he died on Saturday. I know that everybody you talk to about Kelly would, would tell you that. He was really all about love, serve, and care. Care, the three just magic words that I think really des describe Kelly. A bike painted white with flowers, handwritten cards, and a sign that reads, We Love You, Kelly, for a beloved member of our community and a Bozeman High School teacher. The terrible loss of, of a father, a husband, um, my heart really aches for all the people that loved him and are missing him today. A press release sent out by Superintendent Casey Bertram says that a crisis response team will help students, parents and faculty during this difficult time. And for Lisa and Coach Kennedy, they mourn Mr. Fulton's passing and remember the way he made them feel. The warmth, just just the warmth, the kind that, you know, is, is so genuine. It's just as tragic. He was all about everybody else and encourager, a great encourager. Uh, and I think that, to me, that was the ultimate, that he was selfless. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.